Welcome, Welcome back, back to the Cooch Brothers React, react back, back for some more My Hero Academia. Oh shit, that's gory, Johnny. Bro, see this shot Yo, right look, here? look, bro, come on. What you mean they didn't show it? You're an idiot. You have to look at the manga panel for that. It's way different. Two months ago. A certain day in October. The fuck? Is that a camera on his neck? That was that big guy, wasn't it? That attacked him. Oh yeah. That was the one that's supposed to be as, almost as strong, not as strong as Offer One, but mad strong. He's mad. He has to take orders from somebody who's weaker than him, bro. He's pissed and he's crying. I'll be mad if I had to take orders from Chigaragi too. He's like a natural giant. The only way that he's gonna respect them, Johnny, is if they could take him out. Pretty much. Look at him, he's crying. A little ass fire. Look at this guy, he's a beast. Yeah, a monster. That's crazy that the League of Villains actually had to take this guy on. What the? Oh shit, wait a minute. Whose voice is that? No, it sounded it? like that was Offron's voice. Oh, yeah. He recorded it. <laughs> oh! Yo, what the hell is happening, everybody? Did they just get teleported? Yup. Yo, it's like a whole. What is Offron doing this, bro, without even fucking knowing what's going on out there? Mm. Fucking Super really. No Dolls look like Dr. Eggman. Bro. <laughs> bro, he literally has an army of gnomes, bro, that he can unleash at any time. This war ain't gonna be a joke. Oh shit. Shigaraki's backstory as a kid. Yeah, that's all for one right there, Johnny. Of course, bro. All these an animes have to have fucking. Why did all for one choose him? Though? Adults manipulating children, bro. Probably have something traumatic happen to him that he doesn't want to remember. And like, I don't think he's a random kid, bro. I think Offer One chose him for a reason. Like, we know of his parents, like, or his his relatives. They said it before, right? Uh, his mother is one of the inheritance of uh, One For All. He's fucked up, bro. He don't even give a fuck if he remembers or not. He just wants to use his anger. Are those the hands of his fucking family members or something? Those hands gotta be like his relatives. Bro, imagine, imagine he had power behind that anger, bro. Or like people he was close to, like something. Well, what can he do for uh, Shigaraki? Is he gonna? All right, he said the right thing. He talked the talk. It's the master's wishes. That's pretty cool. This is their after uh, school studies. Exactly. This is their training, bro. <laughs> that was a long tutorial for real. Dude. He uses the normals to use um, Alpha One's powers. Yeah, the ability. He talks big, but I'm just waiting to see something hey, nice man. come out. He could do some shit, bro. Alright, well, show me. Just because he's on the villain side doesn't he mean he's gonna get unimaginable power out of nowhere. He still needs to train. Uh, he's gonna get it, alright. All he has to do is prove himself. <laughs> well, that's true, but you know. <laughs> Like the doctor said, he's fucking weak. Yo, he's been fighting him for a month and a half already, Johnny. Did you read that? That's crazy. Fighting for a month and a half and he still hasn't been able to get him to respect him. He sees three hours and starts attacking again. That's crazy. He looks like a titan. Like yeah, for real. His body gets bigger during combat. Oh, he did get better than bigger than him. I guess he's, he, he's smaller when he sleeps or something. I don't know. Yeah, so then he goes out to Shigaraki. Everyone but Shigaraki rests in shit. Yo, this is insane, bro. This is some crazy ass mission. They're not letting up on Shigaraki. He has to prove himself. He's the future leader. Bro, it's already winter, bro. For real, does he eat? Oh, Shigaraki's the only one that can't rest, bro. He looks like a mess. More than usual. He looks like a shonen jump. Throwing farts. Oh. Sounds like a ringtone. What is that? Sounds like he's letting it rip. Oh, it is a ringtone. Fingers. In fact, they're talking about fingers. Are we watching Jujutsu? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, bro, once he's, bro, he said all this to do with the taxes done. Once, he, once he's done with this taxes, he's gonna come and fuck all of you up. <laughs> Seriously, bro. If I was Shigaraki, I wouldn't be focused on anything else. <coughs> Especially since I'm fucking dying of exhaustion. Oh, that's Jiren. 
This has to be the town that Shigaraki destroyed, bro. Like, no cap. This sounds like the army that yeah. the fucking uh, League of Villains are using yeah, for yeah, war. Yeah. That's crazy. I'm telling you, bro, this is leading up to Shigaraki taking over his army and then using it for the League of Villains or something like that. Or maybe making a deal with him. Damn, bro, this, this group is no joke, bro. I want to develop the meta. So it's like villain versus villain here. It's like, remember how we knew there was two fa villain factions? That they're kind of the ones clashing right now. He has an FBI satellite? What the fuck? What are they going to do, bro? They got to finish this shit. This is like I'm rooting for the villains right now. They got to go save their friend, Johnny. Oh! The fuck? Yo, they're going to do this in the meantime? Bro. That's so cute. This shit is hot, bro. This is actually cool as hell, bro. Everything that's happening right now. Yeah, it's too much HP. <gasps> I was gonna use them, yeah. <laughs> I'll knock out two birds with one stone. Bro, I, at least he's smart. Alright, Shigaraki. You got a nice little plan here. You're using your brain. You got a brain, surprisingly. And once I'm wrapped up, I become one. He he goes into jello mode when they take his mask off. Let's see if his plan works, because every time Shigaraki thinks of something, it's a fucking duddy. Listen, bro, Chigaraki's smart. We've known that from, from literally this like, is his the, arc. So the beginning episodes. I know it's gonna Just work. him doing this is, you know, him thinking on his toes. Yeah, bro, they're trying to take him out. I'm telling you, bro, they, the League of Villains had to go through a whole battle before coming to with this army, bro. Well, it's like I said, uh, evil against evil. All for one, obviously, left some type of power for Shigaraki. Yeah, um, with the doctor you know and the doctor is, is telling it? him that he has to prove himself in order to get this power and now he's over here fighting a monster that we've seen before that it was fucking strong as shit they've matched his power to offer ones they said something about him being his bodyguard and like he's like the second strongest or some shit like that um so this this being or monster is strong as shit so Shigaraki and his whole team are pretty much on a mission to destroy this thing and they have been on this mission for a month already it was interesting that they said that too because when they first told us the flashback they said two months in the past and then they said a month and a half had passed already yeah we already lost a month exactly so we already lost a month and a half so it's getting they pretty much fast forward through all that and now it's getting to the part where they're going to show what happened it seemed like all this happened in such a short amount of time I mean, shit, bro. They've been fighting the same monster for a month and a half. That ain't no short amount of time. <laughs> no, but like uh, in two months span to where we are now, um, we okay. know that they're going to have a whole army. And yeah. this is how they get it that quickly. <laughs> well, bro, look at what's happening right now, bro. This motherfucker is about to send the whole beast on their ass. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll <laughs> we don't know what exactly happens. what's going to happen. And on top of that, I don't know, bro, because like in the flashback we didn't see giganto or whatever the guy's name is destroy a city no we saw we didn't see shigaraki destroy we just saw him outside the city actually so that kind of makes sense right we didn't see him destroy the city we just saw him ab I, around I the know. city laughing uncontrollably and while it was destroyed so oh. if anything those events probably did happen the way that we think they're gonna happen like giganto might destroy the city or something but who knows man i honestly don't know I mean, and if, if that's, that's the case, guy, bro, then Shigaraki's about to become even more badass than we thought he was with that with whatever this power is that all for one left for him. Because maybe we haven't even seen this power at all yet. Yeah, or a taste of it. Um, we also got the backstory of Shigaraki a little bit. He doesn't know anything before he met all for one, which is Yeah, that's very interesting because we do know a little bit about his relatives. Because he already seemed fucked up to begin with. Um and basically, All For One is like a super fucking bad guy. This guy is using whatever traumatic experience he's had. And he admits to like, I don't give a fuck if he remembers or not. I just want him to remember that feeling. Whatever feeling he has. And then use that. And and it has something to do with his hands. The hands that he has too. Yeah, that's an interesting thing that they mentioned as well. When he said that um, 
you know he he feels this uncontrollable anger that always comes out but when the hands are on him it makes him feel calmer it's almost like these hands somehow are suppressing his uh rage or something um something like that and if we we do know that shigaraki has whatever the fuck just imagine this like imagine if in the future those hands come off right and and he has this incredible power the rage and the power combined bro this man's gonna turn into the fucking worst villain of all time Shigaraki's learning to be his own leader. He's becoming stronger. That's all you can ask for, bro. That's what we've been asking for yeah, since, I think, the beginning of the series for me personally. Yeah, it was cool to see also um, like a little more context behind Shigaraki and his teammates because it does seem like he cares about what his uh, teammates think or he like he really is a leader. Like, he cares about his teammates type shit. In this episode, I think I saw that a little bit when yeah. he was saying um, that you guys can do whatever you want or whatever. But yeah, my, my impression of Shigaraki after this point has been pretty negative just because seems like everything he uh, attempted failed when he was on his own, you know? So, hopefully this could be the the game changer for him, I bro. Just, like, I always felt like Shigaraki had the, the, the intellect to be good on the battlefield. It's just he didn't have the power to back it up. So, you know, like I said, man, if he, if he gets power, bro, he's going to become a problem. So, who knows what this power is. Maybe he, if he got training at the academy. It'd actually be a decent bro, fucking... This is, this is his academy <laughs> training right now. That, look at the training he's going through compared to these little ass kids, bro. He's going through some fucking intense ass training. One month and a half straight, right, no rest. Bro, his boys are literally taking rest in, in turns, bro. It's the only way they can rest. I, but I don't think he's getting that much like benefit for himself. This is more so to prepare his body, I guess. For the fucking exactly, whatever bro. he's gonna get. That mean exactly the he's getting the, the doctor power, literally man. was giving them this test not only to try to to make him prove himself but to uh, probably train his body in a way itself too because to handle he whatever he's yeah exactly get. he probably can't even handle this power so that's why yeah. he's going through this. And you know so. I, I, it, it gave me to feel that you know the writers were thinking yeah Shigaraki's kind of getting handed everything we need to let him do do something to fucking you know. Uh, be independent and train and learn to become a better fucking uh, villain you know he's training to become a villain bro <laughs> that's why it's called fucking my villain academia um guys thanks for watching make sure to hit the thumbs up button show your support subscribe if you're new here full length reactions are on patreon for a dollar pledge uh including this one uh go check it out consider supporting it helps us put out videos every single day and we'll catch you next week for the next my hero academia reaction thanks for watching take care of yourselves as always and peace